Hey there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. My plan for today was to go to the Providence Place Mall and go to Tivana to get some loose leaf tea as a reward for winning NaNoWriMo. Clearly this is not something I do very often because apparently Starbucks bought Tivana and closed all of the freestanding stores months ago. Actually, I guess they bought them years ago, but they closed the remaining stores months ago. So I found a local-ish tea shop. So this is what I'm going to go check out instead. So what I ended up picking up at the tea shop were these, a green oolong tea, honey ginger chamomile, which smells, oh my goodness, so delicious, a detox tea that also smells very delicious in a whole different way but probably shouldn't be used quite as often as the chamomile. And a vanilla white tea. So we got low caffeine, medium caffeine, no caffeine, and no caffeine, and yet they all smell delicious. So this is my reward for finishing NaNoWriMo, which... I guess I could have ordered from Tivana online. That's still possible. But it was also a lot about the experience, which I didn't feel comfortable filming while I was in there. But of just going through and smelling all the different blends and just being overwhelmed by all the different varieties. So this store provided that experience. And as a bonus, happens to be a small business, which is awesome. I would just as soon support a small local business. Well, local-ish. <laughs> as you can see, one of my other goals for the weekend was to get my home and my office a little more festive, which is something I haven't done in the last couple of years, and I've really been missing that touch. So I hit Michael's, which had a wonderful sale going today, and got a few little things to make my workspace, which is now no longer the mess that it was all of November of undone or half done craft projects. They're still half done, but they're not all piled on the table anymore. Partly because this video is going to also turn into a bit of a plan with me for December because I have done nothing to set up my bullet journal for December because you know, <laughs> So I'm going to do that really quickly. Probably not going to film the whole thing. If for no other reason than my phone is telling me I don't have a whole lot of memory left to work with. And I'll end up editing a bunch of it anyway. So, but bits and pieces. And at least the uh, run through at the end. Yeah. So I best get to that. So I'm still kind of working on mastering this whole desktop view thing, but here's what we've got for the start of December. I found this really cool quote, winter is the time for comfort, for good food and warmth, for the touch of a friendly hand, and for a talk beside the fire. It is a time for home, and I thought that fit really well with the sticker kit that I chose for this month 
which is called the Cozy Comfort or Cozy Warmth Kit, something like that from Planning with Kay. I will link it below. I don't remember if she did a specific video introducing this. If she did and I can find the link, I will put that in the cards um, and link it below. But you'll see at least a taste of it. So get little kitty curled up with some cushions there cup of tea or hot beverage of choice some nice sort of cozy warmth stuff there because I didn't want the whole month to be all holiday all the time oh and the um, person this quote was attributed to that I found is Edith Sitwell who I do not know who she is but I did really like the quote if you've seen any of my other plan with me's, few though they are so far, you'll recognize that this is my pretty typical monthly setup with a habit tracker. I use little icons just for headers rather than having to spell everything out. Up by eight, morning medication, miracle morning, physical therapy exercises, writing, fiber arts, this is an attempt at a smartphone to symbolize doing something social, which may be as little as just texting somebody. I have a tendency to get a little tunnel visioned sometimes when I'm busy with things. So that's why I keep this little prompt to remind me to keep in touch with, you know, the rest of the world, <laughs> particularly family and friends. Hydrate, walk 5,000 feet, not five kilometers, uh, I mean, 5,000 steps, not five kilometers. That would be a future goal. Still building that knee up, although it is much better than it was. Nighttime medication and in bed by 11. This used to be in bed by 12, but really, realistically, I need to be aiming for 11 because then maybe I will get 12 a little more often. Mood tracker for morning, midday, and evening. And I use these color codes. Angry. You'll notice that stressed and excited and energized are actually pretty closely related colors. I didn't used to have these two. I've added them in because I found that I was sort of wavering on, well, is this a day that I was stressed out or was I just excited about something? Or is I just feeling super energetic and not actually stressed out? So decided to try and make a little more distinction there. Then happy, accomplished, or satisfied, or I don't know, something along those lines. Peaceful, exhausted, sad, sick, and meh. Sleep tracker, same one I've been doing for a while. This is, of course, the piece that takes the longest because of writing in all the hours. I did try once just putting the hours across the top and I found by halfway through the month I was very confused about which column was which number. So this is actually a rather meditative and relaxing thing to do even though it's time consuming and ultimately I do think I'm finding it useful even if I don't really use this as quote-unquote data for myself just to look and see patterns and the fact of just highlighting out what were the hours I slept seems to keep me a little more on track so keeping that tracker this is probably the most different I had done a two-page spread last month on PT exercises, wellness, fitness. I have transitioned to my physical therapist's office, office's Fit For You program, but I'm still doing most of or some of the exercises that were given to me when I was in active physical therapy for my knee. I'm keeping those up or I'm intending to keep those up. So just something to help me keep track of that with some room to add things as my 
physical therapist slash trainer, because it's almost more like having a personal trainer, adds things um, with future visits. I decided to do this little spread for Advent Travels. I've never done anything like this before. I usually just use my spreadsheet word count tracker, which I've um, got a previous video of, which I'll put up in the cards. But I decided that I'm actually kind of wanting to keep track of, so what, what was the prompt for each day and what What's the title of the story I came up with? Um, most of which are ficlets, not true drabbles. This one, Breakfast Surprise, turned out to be, I thought I had at least managed to make it a multiple of 400 words, but then when I uploaded it, it came out as 403 words, so not quite. So, whatever. Not true drabbles, but that's okay. It's not a really strict challenge. I do like doing true drabbles, 100 word stories, but I wasn't feeling it for this prompt. I just kind of ran with it. So that's what I'm doing to track my writing this month, because it's not about the words. It's certainly not about 50,000 words. It's just about what fun thing can I come up with for these prompts. And then set up the first full week of the month. Keeping with this sort of, you know, cozy hot beverage theme. And I found this quote that I thought was really cool. The color of springtime is flowers. The color of winter is in our imagination. By Terry, I'm guessing this should be pronounced in the French way, so guillemé, or something to that effect. If you know differently, please let me know in the comments. I thought that was sort of a nice tie together with, yes, we're, we're heading into winter, but also still in writing and creative mode, so yeah, have that little bit of imagination. So that's my fairly quick, well, quote unquote quick <laughs> December setup. Sorry I didn't actually record while I was doing it. I know I like watching while people are doing their setups. I find that very relaxing to watch sometimes. But again, I'm having memory issues. I'm going to have to delete a whole bunch of stuff off my phone or maybe just throw a new memory card in it. At least that is an easier memory problem to fix than the tablet. So that's it for now. Let me know in the comments what you're doing to transition from NaNoWriMo, if you were doing it, into December. And uh, whatever you might be celebrating, how are you preparing for that? For the moment, so far, all I'm doing is a little bit of decorating. And then figuring out the whole shopping gift thing. <laughs> Are you doing anything special writing-wise this month, or are you just taking a break and recuperating? If you are writing anything special this month, what is it? Let me know, and I guess that's it for now. I hope you have a great day.